Hi, so today we're going to look at a couple of different ways that we can um, copy parts from one assembly to another. Um, so normally we think we can use transfer, but we can't do that and get it into exactly the same position. So what I want to do, I want to move this, this trigger into the, the main body assembly on there. So with that, with that trigger, we can now move that into a different location. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and then I'm going to edit in place on, on this item. And then I'm going to paste that in. So that's going to be in the wrong in the wrong um, in the wrong place at the moment. Go back to that one. Um, I should have copied this afterwards. So now we've copied that. Okay. And then we're going to go back into that subassembly. So we need to be in that subassembly, otherwise the occurrence properties are going to be greyed out. So now we're editing on there. We can then go to the occurrence properties on there, and we can then paste those items. So we've got those values that we've just had on there. Okay, so we've now got that in position on there. We can then go into occurrence properties and set that as reference because we don't want that, that to appear in our parts list, interference, etc. on there. Okay, so the other way for us to do that. So now we're back to there. Um, and if I click on that and just double check, we've only got one of those. That's good. So we've just got one of those now. So the other option is uh, just double check what assembly that is so we can see that's in the trigger assembly on there. If we go and edit into this assembly, we can actually bring another assembly into here. So we can go and use our insert assembly copy. We can specify that assembly we want, so we know it's that trigger assembly. And then what we can do, we can select all of these. So we just want the one item. So if we just use a shift select on those, right click exclude, and then just include that trigger. So that's the only item that we want. And then we click OK. That's now brought that into there. And then if we just click on that um, and just go and break the link on that, that has now bought just that just that trigger in. Um, we can then just ground that if we need to. We could use our assembly relationship manager if we wanted to add those relationships and we can go and do the appropriate occurrence properties to make sure that doesn't appear. Okay, thank you.